there, YouTube. What's going on, guys? It is D Dunn here, the most chill COD player, bringing you another installment of the Kim with Every Gun series. And today's uh, gun that we're going to be going over and watching is the VKS sniper rifle. So, uh, real quickly, let's just kind of set up the gameplay for you. Um, obviously, if you can't tell already, he's playing Blitz on Warhawk. Um, like I say, he's using the VKS, which I'm pretty sure he is just rocking. It's either extended mags and um, the thermal scope or the thermal and the armor piercing rounds. I'm not sure which, but uh, either way, that's going to be his class setup. And he manages to pick up almost the entire Kim strike in the first round, which is pretty good. You know, a five minute um, sniper Kim is really not that bad, at least in my opinion. Um, and then into the second round, you're going to notice some cuts in editing because he was only a few kills off. But um, a lot of the enemy team rage quit. He was only against one or two guys for the majority of the second round until he picked up his Kim Strike. Um, so you're going to see some cuts in it there. But without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about the VKS. So in case you are unfamiliar with this gun, it is a semi-automatic silenced sniper rifle in Call of Duty Ghosts. Um, it's the first of its kind where it has a built-in silencer. Um, and I think if you were to look at the sniper category as a whole, I would say this would be probably the best sniper rifle. It doesn't have the uh, fastest mobility or the fastest aim time uh, that belongs to the USR, but um, the fact that it is spammable and, like I said, it has a built-in silencer, um, I think gives it the edge over the rest. Um, it's a one-shot kill, I believe, from the waist up, and just factor in the spammability of it, um, not a whole lot of recoil, and the silencer, I would say, by far, this is definitely the best sniper rifle. Um, I myself um, haven't used it a ton I haven't used it a ton, but um, I did actually manage to die one off a Kim strike with it. I was playing on Prison Break, and I just held down the uh, the middle area and just picked people off as they would come over the hill. And uh, so I almost got there. I almost got a sniper Kim, but, uh, you know, I'm not quite as good as, as uh, consistent luck, so I wasn't able to pick it up. But he did. Um, other than that, the VKS, I think it is just a, uh, you know, it is a testament to... Um, what they need to not do in future Call of Duties with sniper rifles. Um, first of all, the fact that it's spammable and still gets a one-shot kill, um, I think is a little silly for sniper rifles. I don't think there should be any semi-automatic gun that is a one-shot kill, um, because if you can spam it and you can only have to hit someone once, it just makes it um, overpowered in a lot of situations. You know, it just makes it, well, maybe not even necessarily overpowered, but just makes it entirely too noob-friendly. Um, and then the addition of a sniper rifle with a silencer that's still a one-shot kill from the waist up is uh, is also just a little silly. Um, I just think in future Call of Duties, um, I know I mentioned this in other commentary, but they really just need to just completely scrap semi-automatic semi sniper rifles. Um, I think it's just too difficult to balance. Um, there's really no real way, I think, to make them balanced unless the ADS time was ridiculously long i mean i'm talking like you know a good quarter of a second to half a second long um that's the only way in my mind i think that you could really balance a semi-automatic sniper rifle um but uh other than that you know i will say that i you know i have experienced a lot of people have used this gun really effectively and i think that's the thing is put in the right situation this gun is really really exceptionally strong uh probably better than some of the marksman rifles just because it is a one shot kill uh, for instance, I was playing against a party the other day. Um, I think it was like a four to six man party. And there was actually a guy on their team um, who had over a 4 KD and his most used gun was the VKS. So basically uh, what they would do is they would, uh, you know, cap their two flags. And then um, this guy that I was talking about, he had kind of the same setup, a thermal um, armor piercing round VKS. And all he would do would just sit really far back away from the flag and just pick people off as, you know, as they tried to cap it. And he just ran assault, cycle through his streaks. And, you know, so you can do exceptionally well if put in the right situation with this gun. Um, but uh, I definitely think that we should not see a gun like this in future Call of Duties, that's for sure. I just think it's a little bit too strong for the sniper rifle category. 
and um, definitely the best sniper in Call of Duty Ghost. So anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. If you did enjoy the video, feel free to leave a like. If you hate it, then dislike it. Uh, make sure to check out all the links below in the description. Sub to this channel. Check out my channel, and you can sub there if you want. Other than that, guys, I really appreciate you watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.